What's going on? Welcome to the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I'm gonna share with you a full day of eating. Everything I eat in my meals and my snacks to hit my macros, which is about 1,900 calories worth of food. My macros are 200 grams of protein, 190 grams of carbs, and 45 grams of fat. Right now, I'm in the tail end of my current fat loss phase. It's my last week eating this amount of food, and I wanted to share what a day of eating looks like to not only hit my macros and hit my goals of getting leaner and losing body fat, but also trying to keep myself full and giving myself enough quality foods to still have decent training sessions and not feel hungry all the time. So hopefully you pick up a couple of ideas from this video. And if you like it and you enjoy the video, consider subscribing because I make more videos just like this every single week. So the way I structure my day of eating is I have a pre-workout snack because I work out in the morning, then a post-workout snack. Then my first meal I have around lunchtime, and then I have a dinner. So two main meals plus a pre and post workout snack. Sometimes I'll have a snack later in the day to help round out my macros if needed. So when I wake up, the first thing I do is I go to the bathroom, I weigh in and I drink a glass of water. That's always the first thing in my system every single morning. And then what I had for my pre-workout snack today and what I've been having for probably about a month now, which I absolutely love as a pre-workout snack, is two chocolate rice cakes with uh, an Oikos Pro Greek yogurt sort of spread on top of those rice cakes, which has 20 grams of protein in that yogurt, only eight grams of carbs, only three grams of fat. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, drizzle some honey over both of those rice cakes. So not only do I love how this tastes, this is a really good quality pre-workout snack because I'm getting some fast acting carbs in the rice cakes, in the honey, and then I'm getting some really lean protein from the Greek yogurt. And I eat this about 45 minutes to an hour before my actual workout, and then I'll drink my pre-workout supplement, and I'll get out and I'll drive to the gym. Now after my workout, that's when I had my post-workout snack. So this is what I had for this day. What you see here is a serving of high fiber cereal. It's fiber one cereal, it's got 18 grams of fiber. And I'm mixing that with premier protein cereal, which has 20 grams of protein, only 14 carbs and five fat. So the macros are pretty good on this protein cereal. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually taking about four or five ounces of almond milk. I'm putting a scoop of protein powder in the shaker bottle as well. I'm shaking up my protein from Transparent Labs, and then I'm actually just pouring it right in the cereal to use as the milk. And believe it or not, I actually really like how this tastes with the uh, protein and the almond milk with the cereal itself. So again, for this post-workout snack, it's similar to the pre-workout snack in that it is a higher carb and higher protein snack, but very minimal fats. And you'll see what the macros come out to for both my pre and post workout snack combined. I'm getting about 92 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat, and 73 grams of protein. Fast forward a few hours, and that's when my first actually cooked meal comes into play. And this is a meal that I consider automated, meaning I have some variation of this meal pretty much every single day. And what that allows me to do is make it even easier to hit my macros. If I'm only having two meals in the day and one of them is always the same, it becomes very easy and repetitive to hit your macros. And it just limits decisions that need to be made throughout the course of the day. So many people stress over what they should be eating to hit their goals or you know what's the best foods to eat. Well, if you have meals that are automated that you eat all the time in some variation, it makes it really, really easy to not have all this guesswork with your nutrition. So what I've got for this meal is liquid egg whites. It's actually just got the regular egg substitute, which is five grams of protein, zero carb, zero fat. I've got two whole eggs. I've got some fat-free mozzarella cheese. I've got a light multi-grain English muffin, and I've got some little potatoes. Now, Little Potatoes is just a company. It's called the Little Potato Company. They're really, really good. They taste great. They've got some fiber in there. And one serving of Little Potatoes is only 16 grams of carbs, no fat, two protein. So it's very macro friendly and it's very filling. So generally what I like to do is use the egg white liquid or the egg substitute liquid uh, and make it into an omelet. 
So sometimes I'll put some spinach or onions or peppers in there or a little bit of this fat-free cheese in this case. And I have that on the side. And then I use the multi-grain English muffin to make a sandwich out of the two whole eggs. Now I like this multi-grain English muffin because it's got eight grams of fiber. So I'm trying to aim for at least 30 grams of fiber per day because that's gonna help with staying full. And it's also going to help with obviously, you know, like uh, digestion and stuff like that. But it's also going to ensure that my carb sources are coming from better quality sources like multi-grain breads or um, oats or potatoes or fruit and vegetables. As opposed to more junky style carbs or more processed uh, carbs. So I've got my egg sandwich with the English muffin. I've got my egg substitute or egg white omelet on the side. And then I've got some little potatoes as well. And here are the final macros for this meal. So 42 grams of carbs, only 11 fat, and 47 grams of protein. That's a really calorie friendly meal and it's definitely filling. Like this is a big plate that I've got and this definitely kept me full for several hours. So a couple hours later, I ended up having a snack which was a protein shake that I made in the blender with a cup of almond milk, a scoop of Transparent Labs protein, and one banana. So I actually weighed out specifically 80 grams worth of the banana and I gave the rest of it to Nigel who loves bananas as well. I did add some ice to this as well to make it like a, almost like a frosty kind of milkshake type of taste. And it was really good. The protein was vanilla peanut, uh, vanilla peanut butter flavored, add that banana to it and this was really refreshing. I also had a cup of coffee um, at some point in this hour span or so where I used some creamer. So I did track the creamer as well. And I consider these my snacks for the day, right? The creamer, this protein shake I put together, and this is what the macros of kind of those collective foods looks like. About 32 grams of carbs, uh, eight fat, and about 30 grams of protein. And for my dinner meal and my final meal, my final food of the day, what I had was I made almost like a stir fry bowl out of these foods here. So we've got some 93% lean ground turkey, which I used eight ounces of. We've got some cauliflower rice that is, you know, you just heat it up in the bag in the microwave and it's ready to go. This is actually the first time I've had cauliflower rice in quite a while. So I wasn't sure what to expect, but I was actually pleasantly surprised that it didn't absolutely suck. It actually tasted, you know, pretty decent. So I used two servings of this cauliflower rice. I used two servings of these mixed frozen vegetables that again is super easy to prepare. You just pop them in the microwave for a couple minutes and you add them to your bowl, add them to your meal and you're good to go. And then I used one serving of this hot teriyaki sauce and I mixed it all up in a bowl. And I don't know if you can tell by the pictures here, but this is a massive bowl of food. The, you know, this was a lot of cauliflower rice. This was a lot of vegetables and eight ounces of ground turkey is a, a good, nice, big serving size. So as someone who doesn't get full too easily, this really filled me up for pretty much the rest of the night. And the macros of this meal are 52 grams of protein, 16 fat, and 26 grams of carbs. So there you have it, man. That's literally everything I ate throughout the day. I was really trying to maximize every single, you know, meal and snack that I could to make sure that it was gonna be beneficial to my goals, to make sure that it was gonna keep me full as long as possible. And also with the pre and post workout really being prioritized in my particular day of eating, that helps ensure that my workouts are gonna be good quality workouts, even when I'm in a pretty steep deficit getting really, really lean when oftentimes your workouts tend to suffer. My final macros for the whole day came out to 202 grams of protein, 193 grams of carbs, 47 grams of fat. I also managed to get in 41 grams of fiber, and this whole day was about 2,600 milligrams of sodium, maybe a little bit more, but that's a pretty solid range to be in for me. Let me be clear, I'm not saying these are the best foods factually to lose body fat and lose weight and get leaner, but these are foods that I prefer, right? That I enjoy and that help me feel and look my best and, and make it pretty easy to hit my macros. So I'm not saying at all you have to eat these exact foods. You should choose foods that you like and that you prefer, but hopefully me 
just pulling back the curtain, laying out exactly what it is I eat to hit my current macros is helpful for you or gives you a couple of ideas of things you can add into your own rotation. So again, I hope this was helpful. If it was, give the video a thumbs up. And if you are looking for a coach to help you take your fitness and your physique to a whole new level, and you'd like to consider possibly working with me as your coach, go ahead and check out my links down below in the description that give you some details about my Modern Man coaching program and how it works. And that way you can see if it's for you. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.